Oh, what a beautiful morning. Oh, hey everybody. Uh, it's, it's time to get up. Uh, sitting on the bench here for a little bit. Admiring the cloudy skies. Uh, it is currently three minutes to seven o'clock in the morning. How is everybody doing? Oh, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Doing good, folks. I hope y'all are doing good. I hope y'all are having a, a blessed day or night, wherever y'all are at or doing. <sighs> we got to go get started. Take my Chevy over to the shop. I haven't got the road built yet, but uh, it, it, it's coming, folks. As you can see, talk about the money a little bit while we're going over there. Get out of here, birds. And no, that's not my saying. That is DJ Go Ham. Uh, just DJ Go and Ham, as in the meat. Just DJ Go Ham. Google it, and you'll know, pull up his YouTube channel. It's pretty neat. I got a slant to this, and I I'm wanting to kind of level this out a little bit and make road down through here kind of close to the ditch here would it come out over here oh look like one of the guys already out and about I see the lights on over that's good got some spraying to do of course some lime to do more plowing and uh cultivating to do um, don't know if I did it on the last episode or not, but, uh, we got our lime and fertilized tanks in. Hop out here for a second. Uh, should be, I think we gotta get, uh, stuff in there first, but that spout will come out and we can, uh, load our stuff here from the tanker and it'll go into our machines there uh, I don't know which one's which really I wish they would put it on the side or something but well, one's for fertilizer and the other for her herbicide um, I wish they would come out for pesticide also but then again you know a lot of people probably wouldn't like that either but uh, in this episode, folks, uh, I think it's episode five. I can't remember. Been a couple of days since I recorded. But of course, you see our shops we got in. That's going to be our main workshop here. We're going to go ahead and get the doors open before the guys show up. Uh, probably going to have Colin Julian Vlogs show up and. Mr. Yankee from Yankees Outdoor Adventures. Um, I have Anna Rammel come out and do some stuff for us too. But uh, with seasons, or not seasons, the global company mod, you cannot use place anywhere mod. So I snug in long enough to put these placeable here down. It's just to uh, get on it here somewhere. Um, ah, there it goes. Just a workshop. We got one here, one there, and one outside that building down there, as you can see. Well, we got our Chevys in here. Uh, dump trailers in there now. Uh, got the sides off of our trailer there. And we'll run over here real quick. Open this door. Y'all probably wondering, what is this thing here? This is really anything wide but it's mostly going to be for our headers of our combines when we get them and i did say combines Oop, i'm going to show y'all here here's another workshop all three work get it work workshop okay yeah open says me that is our radio tire we put in we got some more fencing to put around it um, took the seeds off, uh, used that much of one pallet there. We got, what, 900 liters of that in the left and 300 liters, or, excuse me, 
Um, hello. 3,000 liters. Where did I get that? I thought I saw 100 liters there. Well, we got three pallets. Oh, it's behind it. Three pallets here of uh, seeds, and this one here is fertilizer. 1,500 liters. Got our planter over there, ready to go, filled up. And our grain cart back there that we won't need for a while. Um, I'll go over here and look at this real quick. They got the front down through here. Um, this is the gate part right, yeah, right here. Not bad. They're working. Uh, they're supposed to come back and put the other three sides on, but the thing runs off solar panels. And we got a repeater and radio and stuff's in there. And, uh, yeah. So, our uh, circuit communication needs there. Our tractors got radios in them. Um, that's going to pretty much do this part here. Oh, I left my truck running. Um, I guess we're going to take a look at our newest tractor. We I uh, bought one late last night, along with a uh, uh, chisel plow. This one ground field thirteen, I believe, needs to be chiseled up real good. And I don't know if y'all seen this tractor yet or not. I want to fast forward time just a little bit here. By five. Shut my lights off so I won't drain my battery down. Here's our biggest cultivator we got. Field cultivator. It's not a row crop. I don't know where the number is on it. But it's got the crumbler baskets on the back of it. This thing will smooth it, feel, and no problem at all. Uh, we got more lime to put down on this field here. Let's go in my map here so I can show y'all. As soon as I get done saving here. Come on. Um, as you can see, this, this, uh, this, and this. A little touch right there, but that's the force. Uh, needs to be plowed, but uh, they're grass fields, so we're gonna mow them first because we're gonna need some uh, grass and stuff. Um, we still got this section here to lime. I think I'm gonna go ahead and throw lime on this field here too, since it's got a little bit here. That way, everything be on the same course. Uh, 19. Uh, and uh, this grass field and this grass field needs lime and I don't know about 14 I think I'm just going to go ahead and do it too because I got a big shipment of lime I ordered that's sitting in the truck um, so we take lime off and we're looking at 17 is completely fertilized uh, so it, it don't need it but we got to finish up this grass field here with fertilized then jump over here and fertilize all the rest of these. 13's already got a one on it. But as you can see here, this is the first, second, and third stage of fertilization. And just to kind of let y'all know about some things, I went ahead and bought this over here. Because I had to put down a lime. Um, it's not going to tell me anything. I put down a lime thing here somewhere, uh, but it's right in that area. Uh, that should catch y'all up. Uh, I've been looking for some fertilized missions, which I haven't seen any yet. It's all cultivating. We got a pan down for sheep, but I ain't got none bought yet. I need to get some grass bales and some water before I. Can't put them in the pen yet, but I can get it ready. That way they won't be stressed as bad. So let's go to our new tractor real quick. I know this one's new. 
I want to get a screenshot of this bad boy. That's that right there. I guess about as close as we can get. What do y'all think? Think I'd take a good picture right there? Uh, it says it was saved, so I hope it was. Uh, let's jump to our Udden. Let's get to 8410. And this is field uh, 13. Yeah, field 13 here. We just started in. I went ahead and bought it because it was interfering with our woods over there. This baby fired up. And let's go ahead and get a worker. And we got help of Sarah. Now, I do have the helper administration, but I have not went and done the names yet. So, uh, yeah. But this is our uh, chisel plow. It's a... Oh, I can't even think what it was called. Is it on the side here? Nope. And no. Nope. It's a 1660, I believe. And uh, 8410. And I went across this end down here just to hopefully give it enough room. We'll find out here in just a second. We'll get uh, a couple more heifers going. Basically, I think what we got left is this field here to plow. And 14 don't need it. But I'm going to do it anyway. And we're going to put lime down. I think he's going to turn around. Look like he's going to turn around pretty good. Should be enough room. Going the wrong way. And here's our new uh, fertilizer spreader. Uh, or spreader. Sprayer. Uh, we'll get back to that here in a minute. That thing's got some massive tires on it. Oof. All right, here's the two I need to get started. Um, well, that's warming up. I don't know why I'm going to drone real quick and show y'all the problem I got. All right, as you can see right there, there's water in the field. And right here, there's water in the field. And I accidentally plowed through the road there. And you see right here, I got a lot of water. I went ahead and plowed through it. Hopefully it'll dry out. But the workers will not go through this. I can drive through it, but the workers won't. Um, I don't know what it's going to do with the crops. I'm going to test some of that out over here. Might make a pass through the middle. And I'll pass through the middle of this right here because it's seems to be a little bit deeper than that over there but uh yeah i'm just gonna make a pass through i uh, think this field i really don't know what this field's gonna be but i do know this big field 14 is going to be soybeans yeah that's right it's going to be soybeans so uh, wheat's going to be in that first field we started in uh, the other day, so. Alright, got my drone back. Uh-oh. Uh I forgot it does that when uh, you leave for a little bit. But I don't know if y'all seen this tractor yet or not, but it's our... Uh, 8350 chipped. Eighty-five twenty. Well, I'm sorry, eighty-five twenty. And this is our Great Plains. Uh, new uh, chisel plow. Uh, it's got the cutters in the front, chisel plow in the middle, and then the cumber baskets I guess in the back so I'm going to take GPS off right now we're going to probably hire a worker here in just a second um, I let you down 
There we go. My B button's going out, I guess. And this tractor is pretty, 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 pretty powerful. And we're going to create field mode. I'm going to zoom out just a little so I can get an uh, idea of what I'm doing. I'm just going to kind of straighten this up just a little. And when I get up here to the highway, we are going to hire a worker and get the other tractor going. Now, I think we're going to finish up the episode with uh, getting started with the wheat. Um, so, yeah, we're going to field 73. We're going to plant wheat. Um, 17 and 18 might be canola. And 14 is going to be... Uh, soybeans along with 19 above there might be uh, soybeans also and then uh, 13 is going to be half beans and I think we're going to plant a little bit of cotton uh, but that will be the last thing we plant uh, just try to get the temperature up might be late summer or midsummer Somewhere in there. All right, let's see if I can do this about right here. All right. Uh, take the great fields off. I think it turned out about right. Let's see here. And I'm going to hire a worker. Oh, you need lights, huh? Okay. That's your preference. Uh. Who we got? Andy. Okay. We're going to say it's Colin. Alright. Well, I didn't want to start him right yet. Didn't want to start him right yet. Hang on. I'm going to go back to this guy and run over here because it'll be a whole lot faster than, than cycling through all that. But I went ahead and repaired this guy last night. He, he needed a couple of things. Make them just tune out a little bit. And I did put a workshop right there also. This be one of our side job or side job. Side shops here. Oh, I'm going to hit the building. Don't hit the building. Let's go this way. And I think I'm just going to start... I'm just going to start him right here. And I really don't understand. Um, I hope he's going on the right angle. It's got multi-terrain and it's kind of hard to know if you're going straight or not. Alright, that's three workers going. Let me go in here and show y'all something real quick. Oh, it saves so much. All right, we're going to go back to this. And you see right here, 14 showing to be cotton. And it shows it's ready to be harvest. And it shows not to be doing nothing to the field. I think 14 is kind of messed up. That's why I want to plow it anyway. Okay, well, I see the lines now. Barely can see them. Let's zoom in a little bit more here. Okay, so it's showing, but you know, it showed it, it to be harvest, but you, you saw how it looked. And there's not nothing on it. That's what I want to show y'all real quick. You see right here, there's no cotton here. Unless it's invisible. I see stubble, so. 
and that and I wanted to show y'all this right here real quick um, if I can get it to slide over what is it here it says cotton mid Scott do I have time fast forward Yeah, times five. Y'all see those prices for uh, cotton right here? Holy cow! Well, it shows we get paid for cotton. That's uh, yeah. I see these changing too, but that right there is. That's almost ten thousand dollars for uh plus this is a tons. How much is uh beans going for? Okay, yeah, that's about right. But what I was wanting to show y'all is this right uh, here. No cotton. Don't tell me when to plant it. Don't tell me when to harvest it. So, I'm thinking I want, like, maybe day seven, I want to plant a strip. Day nine, I want to plant a strip. Day three and day six, plant a strip of cotton on each one of those days. And just test it and see if we can do cotton on this map. Um, same thing with sugar cane. It says we can't. But, you know, if we reach 61 degree ground temp, which uh, this is the air temp, 66 on Sunday. You know, that might might get us in that range so we just have to wait and see uh, my other guy I can't tell yeah, Andy uh, okay Andy is like seriously Way out of his lead there. Now, oh, Andy, or sir. Okay, hang on. I got to figure out something here real quick. Sir, friends. And Andy. Huh. Huh. Andy, you're fired. So you got cotton stalks here. So apparently you can have it in the game. Now Andy, why did you not Turn around like you're supposed to because you've been working fine. But that's hired workers for you folks. <laughs> they uh, got mine of their own. Yeah, I'm going to go across the ends here a little bit. Maybe that's caused something. I don't know. We'll find out. Well, how I usually go by, I just go in, try to get some straight lines here and hire a worker, and just go from there. All right. Since this guy wants us to... Somebody left the lights on, we'll cut the motor right here. All right, let's see if we can find out where we are at. There goes my phone going off for email. Let's go ahead and unfold the baby. 
and huge. I don't see. Drive out this way a little bit. I don't see where my mark's at. Let's get that off and that off. Um, should be right. Okay, I think I see that. Not really. I knew I shouldn't have moved it. Wait, is that it? I can't out well, no wonder. I can't tell where I'm being. I'll just go over here and start from this side here. Now this this guy holds ten thousand liters, so I don't know how many gallons that is. Y'all y'all have to do the math. Um yeah, I, I, we need to put some grain silos up out here. This is going to be our shop yard up ahead here. On the side of that ditch right there. So, we're just going to have to kind of organize it. Y'all got any ideas how I should uh, go about doing it? Uh, of course, time this video is out, uh, I've probably done done it. So, But y'all can still leave it down in the comments and we might end up doing it. You never know. Um, I want to get the farm work done, and I also, I wish I could find that line. I only see a difference in it. I really don't. What's up with that? I don't. I don't like it. Uh, it's not. It's ready for harvest. Oh man! See, last night I was needing fertilize. That's why. It's in the first stage of harvest mode. So that means I need to go to 18 and start spraying. 18 and 19. Well, that will help out. Okay. Let's fold up. That might be one day had lights on and, uh, yeah. Let's see. We have to go this way. Uh, this field here, I just got to finish putting the lime in it and get the field cultivators going and uh, it will be done. So folks, it's been about 30 minutes. Uh, I hate because we really ain't got nothing done. It just like, you know, uh, it started to cover uh, the plows up, chisel plows and this and stuff up and <sighs> yeah um tell you what, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to park this guy right here because I really really need to get the uh, wood chips sold Okay. Uh, okay. I see right now. You you just going to aggravate me. Now I'm glad you're here. Uh, what I want to do, it's going to be just a tiny bit longer. Um, I want to see if I can dis this three trees right here under, and then what I'm going to do is do a jump cut. I got two trucks of wood chips. And I load logs. 
to sale so I can finish doing this. Uh, oh man, they're gonna be there. I ain't gonna be able to get rid of them. I don't know if they're gonna grow so I can cut them or what, but right now I can't do nothing to them. They're probably displaceable trees. But anyway, I'll get back to this guy here in a second. We're gonna run over here. Uh, but anyway, what I was saying, I got two semis loaded with wood chips using our grain trailers for right now. These guys need to be sold. And I got this guy here. He needs one more log on him, but I think I'm just going to go ahead and take him as he is because he is pretty much loaded. Uh, just be safe. I'm going to get these guys rolling to the wood chip place and then I will be right back when I get them up there and uh, we're going to sell them, see what we get for them and then we'll end the video there. So give me this uh, a second for y'all and I'll be right back, okay? Alright everybody, I made it up here. I just got to get these. There we go. We're selling the wood chips. Getting that money back up there. Let's see here. If I remember. Okay, there we go. The only thing about these hopper bottoms, this ain't really a good spot for them to empty. Need to be a wider trigger here. There we go. Uh, come on. On the back. I'm hitting right B and Y. I'm not unloading. Hmm. Might have to get a different trailer. I might have to get a, a dump bed. All right, we're gonna move to the other truck. And figures I start recording again, and something like this happens, I just gonna dump them and go. Let's get this other truck real quick. I'm going to dump the back trailer first this time as close as I can without hitting the walls and I hit the wall and it's not letting me dump the back I can dump the front and it dumps fast. All right, that is another six thousand eight hundred fifteen. So it just it keeps popping up every time I hit the button. I may go completely off and back back in again, or pull back in, just to see if it'll reset. It's not letting me. Ain't this something? You know, I, I might have to... You see what I'm getting per hopper. I think what I'm going to have to do is restart the game. Because here lately I've been having problems when I get so far. Especially like on hired workers. The, the tractors that's got hired workers. I would have to restart the game in order for them to get hired uh, it wouldn't have the symbol up there to hire them so I restarted the game and it would pop up that was what happened to that big John Deere uh, tractor you saw earlier that older one alright that was $28,011 that's our money maker right there is the logs for sure 
the wood chips is just the the pretty much the the arms or, or limbs off of the tree the big part so folks and that's going to wrap up this episode uh sorry it's kind of long it's better than my higher ones right but i'm gonna get this guy back uh i bought some uh eight eight and eight and sixteen i bought sixteen bales of hay and i got a water trailer might be this guy right here it's checking yep right here's the hay uh, stop driver close that out he's gonna have to go to the sheeps but i have another guy coming which is a teller hunter Oh, Sarah's still going. We'll get the, the plowing done eventually. And who was that? That's trans. Still going. Okay. Yeah, it won't be too much longer. I'm going to cut that little chunk right there out. So, uh, still got to put the lime down. I am looking for the tower hammer. Where is the... Mr. Handler. There he is. I bought this uh, water trailer. It holds 8,000. Yeah, he's having a little bit of problems getting it pulled in. Looks like he's on ice. He's just spinning a lot. And that's before I hooked him up with that. So I don't, I don't know what's going on. But we need him on sheep duty. Uh, and uh, it's better sitting in the woods, right? And we still got 183,349 wood chips in here. And, and that's just in that part. And our wood chipper here has 51,039 liters. So, yeah. But anyway, folks, uh, I'm going to sell this off screen and try to get some of this worked up. Uh, I don't know what happened to my wood chipper. It's this, uh, the update mass is false and it's still recognized and the wood chips is real heavy. I don't know what's causing that, but we got a chunk of it out. I still got a chunk to go, not mention all the rest of it, so... Yeah, got that much deeper to go. But anyway, uh, this is going to conclude this episode. I want to thank you all for coming out, uh, watching. Uh, thank you for sharing, folks. Some of y'all have been sharing. I wish all y'all would share. It would really help. I want to get to a 1,000 members uh, or more. And uh, But thank you for hitting that share button, the like, and the red button. And hit that bell beside of it. And folks, don't do nothing that you don't want to do. Just if you want to do it, do it. And also saying that, don't forget, I do have a link down below. PayPal, if y'all feeling generous, uh, it would help me out a lot. I'm going to be needing uh, a microphone and a Xbox controller pretty soon. So, uh, but if y'all... Uh, don't worry about it. Just do what you can do. Uh, just the watch time is more than enough. But well, folks, we got to plant. We got to plant today. So next episode is going to be later, probably about noon or so. And uh, which probably will be tomorrow or the next day. Y'all see it. And uh, we will be planting some wheat. So once again, Thank you so much. Y'all have a great day. A blessed day. And I will see y'all later. Bye.